What's up, guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel over here at Shop at Brian's. Working on race car. Been working on the race car for about three hours now. So last night when we got done, I got back today and there was a couple things I wanted to change. So it's never ended. Let me show you what we got done, what changed, and what we're going to do. Go to turbojohnracing.com, grab some merchandise. We got some cool t-shirts out there. The coming storm, gathering storm. It's one of those storms. I can't remember what Kelly called it, but check it out, guys. Thanks. was a couple things that we changed we ended up taking this thing and it really wasn't as good as what we had wanted we ended up taking this hot side pipe back off and we cut this section stuff out here put a v-band here to make it so this could at least twist back and forth we did have a little bit of a leak last night it was over here but i don't actually see any pinholes so i think what we were feeling is where this was not actually made it up all the way so we moved it Got the turbo mounted on it. So now what we got to do is figure out a mount system. And yes, it's pointing forward or up. It's pointing uphill slightly. But if you look at it from the side, it is pretty much perfect. And that was a mistake on my end because when I welded this on first, I thought I had this straight. It may have been straight. And then when we overheated everything, it is now twisted just a tad. I'm completely okay with that. I mean, it's fine. Uh, might, actually, we were talking about kind of moving it, making an angle anyway, but I think we'll be okay. Now this is, that might be an issue. So instead of this going straight out, it's gonna have to go up slightly to clear this. It is what it is. What can you do? So here we go. We're going to make this thing. Uh, we're gonna try to make the cold side today and the downpipe. We gotta figure out how we're gonna support this. That's what we're just looking at. The old flange had these pipes, had these holes on the actual flange, and we were able to build a thing off. So we may do something similar. Okay, comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, well, we are making some progress here. Boy, them welds right there. What in the world, where did that welder come from? I don't know what happened. See, some, sometimes I can get some decent stacks, but most of the time, not. <laughs> so now we are pretty close. So now we've got the flexibility down here in this uh, PQY clamp. That thing, they make a whole bunch of different ones. I think, I don't know who invented it, but Vibrant is the one that we used to see all the time. So it's hard clamped here. Well, it's not really hard clamped. It's on the rubber, but it's kind of it's kind of tight. But this right here, flexibility is unbelievable. It's got an O-ring on this side, an O-ring on that side, and then a sleeve that goes in and encapsulates it. So, it, I mean, it moves, but it can't blow off. I mean, it is, the thing's amazing. It is awesome. Amazing. So uh, this is going to work out just like I had hoped. Blow off valves are going to be straight-ish. That right there is, I'm excited guys. This is looking awesome. Brian and JW is over there working on uh, Killdozer, uh, putting new O-rings in the block. He got his heads, so he is trying to get together to go to Rockingham this weekend too. Look, this is just a basic little LS guys. A little basic, basic LS. Very basic. But fast. All right, we got some final welds here. Uh, most of them look pretty good. We got some that are not so good. Luckily, they're on the bottom this time. I had a pretty wide gap right here, and I was able to feel it, but you can see, like, usually that right there comes out on top. So I think we're final final assembly on the cold side here. Uh, blow off valve should work out pretty good. Uh, so now once we get this done, we'll tighten all this stuff up. Man, that turbo really is at a pretty good angle. 
That's okay. I'm okay with that. It would have been better if it was not at an ankle. But it is what it is. So we got to hook up the feed line. We got to hook up the drain line. Uh, got plenty of line to do that. So it's just a matter of you know getting it in there. Uh, we got we got to figure out the support over here. So that'll be good. And uh, we're almost done with it. I mean, well, no, we're not almost done. We're making progress. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, well, we're almost done. Well, we're not almost done. We are getting closer to being done. The turbo kit is done on the hot side and the cold side. So now we got to mount the downpipe. So downpipe is going to be, it's not going to be terrible to do, but it always is more fun uh, because you got to, especially now that we have a hole over here that we're going to try to get to. You know, it's just one of those things. Man, this is this is turning out pretty good, guys. It's not bad. Uh, we'll see how long it stays in reasonable shape. Uh, we still got to build a turbo support to get this thing up. I'm going to go ahead and run the oil line and the oil drain line real fast, the back pressure, and then we'll start on the downpipe. Okay, so we're making some progress. It is now dark outside. We've been over here for eight hours today. So now we've got the drain line done it is got good fall working like it should might have to loosen that up and uh, it goes uphill slightly i just need to loosen that up so that it can go downhill the whole time feed line works it barely fits but it does fit uh we started cannibalizing randy's uh hot side so we got the bin here uh this one's his bullhorn that took um, a smacking, but it is okay. We got a piece there, straightened it out the best I could. We got his flange on the turbo. I had to cut it because uh, it was dented the way it crashed. It dented it like right here really bad. Uh, so now I'm fixing to go grab the front end real fast. And then we're going to decide if we're going to just come straight out. I may just come straight out with a little teeny bullhorn over here and just go out the fender. Uh, it may be a problem to get it to go down low because just i mean we're real close here i mean i might be able to get it kind of to go out down there but i don't know okay let's keep working on it see if we can get it tonight well i don't guess we're going to get done with the downpipe tonight we still got a few days before no prep teams so we'll figure it out what about that product placement for bsi black sheep industries uh yeah they're sticking through the hood well most of most of the rest of the motor so we'll go in here i'm gonna go in here with a jigsaw that's uh the blade he had was a little aggressive so we'll mark this out and we're gonna kind of tidy that up around there to go check them out black sheep industries uh turbo is a little close right here too um it's hitting but it's not bad so we might be okay with that. Uh, of course, like I said, we're not gonna have a hood on this thing. Uh, wastegates are good. Uh, downpipe, if we come straight out, it'll come straight out the headlight. So it's gotta go back some, but we may be able to get it down to that hole there. We'll have to play with it and see. But otherwise, man, we're getting close. I ordered a fuel pressure regulator. We're gonna put one on it like Randy has on his, air motive. Uh, one of the, I don't remember the part number, but it's a compact high flowing. So it's got a 500 orifice instead of that quarter inch orifice. I thought it was 300, but it's even smaller. So we're making progress. We're getting close. So hopefully maybe tomorrow night we can button this thing up. All right, guys, comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see y'all soon. Later.